Hey guys, so um, it's Sunday afternoon. Um, this is usually about the time that I edit my weekly vlogs and this week I felt like I had to do something a little bit different. It's been extremely painful this week and I couldn't bring it upon myself to share a silly and casual vlog like I normally do um, and have it feel right if you it like if you know what I mean like I just it it didn't feel right to share something like that after all of the things that have been going on all the things that have been happening and I've had so many feelings about them and so many friends have asked me to talk about it so that's what this is. This is me addressing um, this past week and my feelings and everything that I've thought throughout the week going going you know back a little bit. Earlier this week, if you don't live under a rock, you, you know that this week has just been insane. And um, two men, maybe more that we hadn't heard about, but Two men that we do know of, Alton Sterling and Philando Castile, were killed by police this week. And I think I was shaken so much by these because of the constant airing and constant replaying of their deaths on social media. Um, I couldn't scroll through my timeline without a video being auto-played of these men either being shot or bleeding to death and it was almost unavoidable it was terrible and to give you context quite honestly I've lived an extremely sheltered life I've had little things happen to me that probably shouldn't have um, but death isn't something that I've had to deal with very much yet and even though I don't know these men and I don't have a connection to them aside from seeing them on the news, my heart sank into my chest just seeing that we could be so callous as a society to replay over and over and over these videos of these men in their last moments of life without giving them the dignity to die without it being all over the place. and. You know, some people have said, well, we need to see it. We need to know that it's happening. We need to feel the pain and feel the anguish of what these moments mean because that's the only way that people are going to talk about them. And while I agree with that, I think it's a personal choice. And I think wanting to watch a video of that nature shouldn't be something that is forced upon you. And that's how I felt this week. I just felt like the endless retweets, the endless shares of these moments being captured, yes, they exist and they needed to exist. But for me, it was too graphic and too painful to witness over and over and over again. I was completely sad and angry I think furious is probably the word to describe. Um, and although I didn't share either of those two videos, I did share a video of Alton Sterling's son wailing and crying at the loss of his father. And that sparked an intense debate on my Facebook. Um, I thought a few times about deleting it because I didn't want people to fight over something that we really have no business fighting over. I mean, a man is dead and, you know, we don't, we don't know much more than that. My point of that post was that we don't know the whole story. We don't know anything. We just know what we know from the news and that's it. None of us were there. We don't know. And I posted that moment and my intention for that was to show that although we don't know the whole story, we know that this child is living in pain without his father anymore. And his father was taken away without 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what to say. But anyway, I posted it on my Facebook, just that video, and it, it sparked an intense conversation among my friends. But I also, you know, I got messages from people that said things like, I don't know why you're still talking about this because racism doesn't really exist or black people need to be taught how to deal with the police and how to confront those issues with respect so that they can leave a situation alive or, you know, geez, there's so much like not, not all police officers are bad. And this wasn't like in the actual comment section. This is like stuff that was coming up in my inbox from people that I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, how are you bringing it to this? But I think for me, it's, it's just so much different for those things or, Oh, that was the other thing. That was the other thing that I got was that black people are way too sensitive. Like racism and, and slavery and all that stuff is over. So you just need to like move past it. And to me, it's like families, and people of color suffered centuries of abuse, of loss, of, of <sighs> discrimination because of the color of their skin and nothing more. And to me, quite honestly, that's not something I feel like we should just get over. It's not something I think we should just move past. I, I feel like it's, it's a major discussion and it's like, these are the things that influenced our society as it is today. And so why aren't we looking at the past and why are we avoiding it and acting like it didn't happen for comfort? Because I don't live in comfort in my daily life. I know what it's like to be followed throughout a store where it's not customer service, where it's someone watching to see if I'm going to put something in my purse or to, a, you know, a friend brought up a great example of, you know, standing next to somebody in an elevator who clenches their purse a little tighter because you walk in. Or when my friend's dad, a long time ago this happened, used the N-word and justified it to me as, oh, I didn't, I didn't mean it as black people. I meant it as stupid people. So... There is no comfort in not discussing the past. There just isn't. It's not, it's not like you can just say it happened so long ago and that history doesn't matter anymore because it completely matters completely. Um, I got more comments on that article and at a certain point I closed my mouth and I said, I'm not saying anything anymore because I've explained and explained and explained what this means, my experience. And when you can't, just open your ears and shut your mouth and just listen and not tell me that my experience is not valid because you haven't lived it must not exist because you've never seen it. Um, that's when I was like, I'm not saying anything anymore. And that was the point this week where I was like, my vlog can't just be about how I went running and caught Pokemon. It has to be this. It has to be talking about it no matter how uncomfortable I am talking about it. Um, I had to do it. I had to. Um, and so those, those events unfolded throughout the week. And then there was Dallas and that wasn't what I expected. I didn't expect that people would gather for a peaceful protest and somebody would rain down gunfire on officers because of the events that are happening or, or something else. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And I think as deep as my heart was sinking this week, it sank even deeper after that because None of that is the answer. And those officers ran back into the gunfire to protect people who were doing something that they had the right to do, to gather and to protest. And their lives were taken because a person 
can't just understand that a life is important. At the heart of the issue, we as Americans can't realize that we're all in this together for some reason. We separate ourselves by color, by beliefs, by religion, by sexual orientation, by gender. We put ourselves into all of these boxes and we keep dividing ourselves over and over and over again. And somehow we can't see that in the most free nation in the world, we are somehow still bound by the shackles of hatred. I'm an optimist and I think one day we're gonna find out what it takes and we're gonna be able to live peacefully together, to work together, to live together, to understand each other in a deeper way, to know that we are, we are all people, we are all humans. Today and every single day after today, we need empathy and we all need to realize that just because there's something that we haven't lived or we haven't experienced doesn't mean it doesn't exist and it doesn't mean that we're allowed to overlook it as if it never happened.